Is it true that this equation only has two solutions, uno and minus uno? It's not quite right. Let's find the other ones. To solve this properly, we need to move all the terms to one side. I'm going to do a Beyonce and move everything to the left to the left. The plus one on the left side becomes a minus one. Then we need to factorize this, meaning rewrite it as a product of terms. So this is a classic difference of two squares. So we're going to open up two brackets. What multiplies by itself to give you x to the power of 4 is x squared. What multiplies by itself to give you uno, uno, uno. One is plus, one is minus. Now, we have two things that multiply to give you 0. Either this is 0 or this is 0. Now, this is very simple. We can move the uno back to the right. We get x squared is 1, and then we square root both sides. So we're left with x is plus or minus 1 which was one of our original pair of solutions. But what about this one? We can solve this as well. So I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. So subtracting 1 from both sides, I get x squared is minus 1. And now I need to square root both sides. Now this is where we move into the complex domain. And we're left with plus minus the root of minus 1. And here we have a constant which we label i. And that is our other two solutions. Nice. Follow me for more maths content like this.